in the last first door video I made, I said I had a bunch of footage and a bunch of episodes I could make. Well, that's no longer the case. Uh, I guess too much time passed. I didn't remember the journey. I didn't remember fucking enough details to... It, too much time had passed, basically. But I am back again with some thrift store shopping. God, these intros are always so terrible on these. I, I need to fucking... I need to make up an intro. I'll have some singing, some jazz, some fucking tunes. You know what I'm saying? Probably not. Anyway, <laughs> let's get the fuck into this. Heading out to the old town of Monroe, Washington, the first stop was Goodwill. Good Willie, good old reliable, not really, but we all have paranoia about missing out, so we gotta go to the blue fucking devil. I'm joking around, obviously. I mean, I enjoy Goodwill still, even though it can be kind of frustrating not finding the stuff you want to, but so be it. The game selection sucked ass. It was pitiful to non-fucking existent, so you're not gonna find any games in Goodwill, but behold, there will be a video game found in this episode. Anyway, weirdly enough, they had a bunch of a Nintendo Switch controllers and even a Wii U controller. I don't know if these were valuable or what. I probably should have looked into it, but I don't own a Switch or Wii U, so I passed them up. I'm kind of afraid to look because I might regret not buying them, but it was weird to see so many here. And they, they weren't official Nintendo ones, so I would have grabbed them. So I'm just going to assume like most Shield Party controllers, they were not good. Moving on down the aisle to where the general electronics are kept, I found an interesting like scanner for your computer. I, I don't know if you can use it for like drawings or something, but it was so cheap I figured why not grab it. You never know when something like this might come in handy, and I'm still working on seeing if it will, um, you know, take drawings and such. It might just be for fucking boring taxes. Woo, Uncle Sam's fucking coming down my chimney. Moving on to the book section, once the old lady who took fucking five hours moved, I finally was able to look at some books to add to the shelf that I won't read, because I don't fucking read enough books because there's no fucking time. I don't know why I sound like a delirious madman in these episodes. It's not intentional, but it, I guess it's just a fucking wavelength of the mind today. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to move on. Anyway, back to the books. There's a lot of great um, comics and stuff I found at Goodwill. I think I talked about this before. You can get comics for way cheaper because comics are expensive. If you go to Barnes & Noble, you're paying a pretty penny, especially for the big collections of comics. Goodwill is the way to go. You can get fucking Watchman or something, $2.99, add it to the collection, you're fucking set. So they had some Halo books. I was tempted to grab a Halo Wars 2 strategy guide. At first I thought it was like an alt book, but it was a strategy guide. I passed it up. I don't need it. It's Halo branded, but I just, I need to get away from that holding mentality. I'm never going to use it. I don't use strategy guides, so I need to fucking put it away. I would have grabbed it as an alt book, but not a strategy guide. I had to pass it up. I'm just too low on bookshelf space to allocate it to something like this. However, I did find something else Halo related. A Halo Wars 2 comic. Small, neat, I never heard of it, so you best believe I grabbed it. Well, Goodwill, eh, wasn't, wasn't that great. Kind of a waste of time, but again, you never know. So moving on to the next location in Monroe, a little thrift store called Saint something, Saint Vincent, I think. A little nifty one. Sometimes you find video game stuff, sometimes you don't. It's a hit or miss, but I gotta look. Wait, wait, what's this? A video game? I actually found a video game? Holy shit, it's a fucking Christmas miracle. I mean, nothing, nothing amazing, but... You know what? My friend Nostalgia64, he likes skating games. I'm sure they're fun. I think this one's backwards compatible. I'm gonna grab Skate Free. I fucking took it. I grabbed it. I wanted it. It's in the collection. I officially found a video game. Therefore, I can justify the title having video game in it. Now, that's not all. I actually found something else pretty cool. Look, I found like a GameCube traveling case. It's got the GameCube logo on it and everything. Only $2.99. It's, it's cool to have these like little bags and stuff, these accessories. They add character to a game collection. Plus, I mean, if I ever need to take my GameCube somewhere, I'm fucking set. It's fucking GameCube party time. You know what I'm saying? Fucking GameCube and what's the bros? Fucking, fucking... I, I, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, it's pretty fucking nifty and it came home with me. Won't draw on it too long as I've mentioned it before, but I gotta look at the vinyl. Always looking for that Moldy Robbins Gunfighter Ballads and Trail Songs. It's a common album that sold a lot, but I can't fucking find it. They have every other Moldy Robbins album on vinyl but that one. One day though, one fucking day, I will find it. However, this is interesting. So they had Laserdisc, and, you know, Laserdisc is cool, it's fucking radtacular, we get that, I've shown it before. However, they had something else here. 
a weird movie format that was actually like it was on vinyl records and the, the discs were scratched and kind of brittle so they came in a plastic case that you would slide into a player and the player would remove the disc this format is called ced i thought about buying a ced before just to own one and maybe i will if i find the right movie but i wasn't gonna grab any today they are cool to see though they're not common at all i think i've only seen one one other time at a goodwill all right, now at the first store, they had something cool in the glass case. I, this shot, I'm gonna have to freeze or something because I had to be so fucking quick and covert because the employee was right there and he had talked to me about the video game, so I didn't want to stand there looking at him. So I had to be like fucking super quick. So I apologize, but it is what it is. I don't want to get kicked out, then I can't fucking make more of these videos. It's my fucking secret recording glasses that don't hide the giant camera in the middle. Anyway, they had a... Okay, so they had a Game Boy that I would have bought. It was $12.99, but the sound and video didn't work. This only would have been a display piece for me. And as iconic and cool as it looks, and it would look cool in the collection, I'm gonna hold out for a working one. However, they had a Virtual Boy game, as you can see, in the box. Now I think they wanted 100 for it, which I'm sure makes sense. Virtual Boy games are expensive. I'm not gonna buy that. I don't own a Virtual Boy, and I don't need the games in the box. But I just thought it was cool to see. You never see those in the wild. I've never seen a Virtual Boy game in the wild before, so I had to mention that because it just, it was cool to see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this concludes our journey with hate from Gruxton from the rainy, windy kingdom of Washington State. I know this wasn't the most entertaining video, I didn't find 50 NES games or cheap or anything exciting, one day maybe, but at the very least I hope you're entertained and uh, have a fucking radtacular day.